Nature Boy Buddy Landell. Nature Boy Buddy Landell. <laughs> you know, uh, Buddy, and I, and I hate to say this, it's been a couple of them. Uh, Buddy, did, he only lived about 35 miles from me here. He lived in a little place called Chihuahua, Virginia. Uh, he was at my school that afternoon, of the night he died, six years ago, matter of fact, uh, in June. It was six years ago. He was at my school. But Buddy Landale, even though he did the Nature Boy gimmick like Ric Flair, it was a natural thing for him. Uh, Buddy was an uh, unbelievable worker, too. And to be in a lot of territories where he worked underneath, and he had more heat than the top heels did because Buddy knew how to get heat. Uh, you know, but he knew how to run that mouth. He knew how to talk. Uh, I say, <laughs> you know, he got himself in a lot of trouble a lot of times by talking. Yeah, uh, but uh, he made he made his mark in his business too. A lot of guys have forgotten about, it. and I'm glad that you mentioned Buddy Ellen here around. And people go back to look at some of this. Him and Butch Reed was, uh, were together tag team, and and. When Robert and I went into Louisiana, you know, it's the same thing, Dusty. We first worked with Nikolai Volk off the Russians, and we got that. And then we worked with Buddy Landell and Butch Reed to get us ready for the Midnight Express. And that's what, you know, and Buddy knew his job. And when people know your job in this business, uh, that's when it's so fun. And when you go out there, you have no problems. You know what's going on. Uh but Buddy was a great work. I love Buddy Land. Uh, I also mentioned Buddy to uh, Dr. Tom uh, a few hours ago, and he said uh, he and Rick Flair were going to obviously have the natural uh, singles uh, run together, and then Buddy somehow managed to paranoia himself out of the entire situation. They never had that big run. Do you remember anything about that? Well, I remember the run they had in NWA, what was there. You know, they went to... Uh, the, I don't remember nothing being said about it, but Buddy running that mouth, you know, I, I love Buddy, but he talked too much, you know, and uh, behind the scenes and stuff. And sometimes it's just good to be quiet. I don't mm -hmm. know about that because I'm seriously in my business. I stuck to my own stuff. That way I didn't have heat with the boys. I didn't have to get into there, but the, uh, uh, but I know he had a run with Ric Flair. I, 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 I'll never forget that he wrestled, Buddy and Rick wrestled in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And they had, at that time, the biggest house they ever had in Raleigh. Until me and Rick hit angle we, and we topped, we topped it. But I ain't saying it because of me, but I was saying it was because I was at the right place at the right time. And that's what it's all about. But I, I don't know anything other than that. You know, Buddy, you know, he uh, stayed messed up. You know, being, you know, listen, I can't throw the first stone at nobody. Uh, but I knew when enough was enough. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs>